Kawabonga dudes and dudettes, this is Anthony, aka Bad Bomb 82, and this is my full recap of the Mezco Toys Fair 2022. Now we are still in a position where we can't physically have a toy fair, so a lot of companies are doing the online thing, which I think is still pretty cool, especially when it comes to Mezco. My favorite action figure line, the 112 Collective, uh, I'm just so excited about this, so let's go ahead and run down everything that they've shown off this weekend. So the day before Mezco Toys Fair, uh, we actually were able to pick up the new Atticus Doom figure, which was really cool. Uh, he is like their John Constantine of the Rumble Society, dealing in the Mystic Arts and I think stuff like that, which is really, really cool. So I'm really eager to get that figure in. So hopefully you all got your pre-orders in. Uh, well, I think this one's actually ready to go soon. So we should be getting uh, shipping and tracking orders soon. So I think it's really awesome. So again, hopefully you did not miss out on this guy. So Mezco kicked things off on day one with their first reveal, which was a huge reveal, being the Robert Pattinson Batman figure from the new The Batman movie. Now, I am personally super stoked for Robert Pattinson to play Batman. Uh, he's such a great actor. I love the look of the suit, and I am so stoked that this is actually coming out in the 112 Collective line. I know people are complaining, oh, another Batman figure, another Batman figure. Uh, yeah, another Batman figure because he sells. He's one of the top selling characters in all of comic books, so why wouldn't they make another cool character that people love collecting? And I'm so stoked about this as I wanted this one to be in this line so badly as I want every live action Batman to be in the 112 Collective. So I'm super stoked about this and again, hopefully we get more. Again, I'm all for even a George Clooney. I think that would be rad. Next up, they showed us an 18-inch Roto Plush Creepshow doll. Now, I'm not going to be very honest right now. Uh, I have zero clue about anything of Creepshow. I'm not even going to pretend I know what this is. Uh, but it's a skeleton-looking dude uh, with long white hair. He looks pretty good. Uh, I think Mezco has done a great job with this doll. I know a lot of these things are very popular, and I'm not a big horror fan. But this does look cool, and if you're a Creepshow fan, I think you'd love this piece. Next up, they revealed two new Five Points action figures, being the Silent Hill 2 Red Pyramid thing and Bubblehead Nurse. Now, I'm not giant into Silent Hill, again, I'm not really big into horror, but these look incredible. The paint, it just looks amazing. The sculpt looks gorgeous. I, I, I've always said for a long time now, this style of action figure, in my opinion, I think Mezco does the best better than anyone else doing this scale and type of figure. I think they look amazing. If I was a giant Silent Hill fan, I would definitely be picking these up because they look so good. And if again, if you're into that three and three quarter inch, only five points of articulation type of figure, I think you'll genuinely enjoy these pieces. Then the final reveal of day one was something that I know a lot of us were anticipating. They finally showed us a 112 collective G.I. Joe Snake Eyes. Holy crap, I am so stoked about this, as Snake Eyes and Storm Shadow are two of my all-time favorite pop culture characters, especially when it comes to G.I. Joe, and as soon as I heard that Mezco was making G.I. Joe figures, Snake Eyes and Storm Shadow were two that I thought instantly, I'm like, oh my god, I want those in this line, and I am so stoked about these pro promo images, he looks great. I'm really curious to see all the accessories that he does come with. Will he come with a timber? And will that timber be articulated? Who knows? Uh, but he looks so good, man. The sculpting all looks great. I'm really stoked for those soft goods. I love the fact that Mezco was even making G.I. Joe. I think it's really cool. They have yet to release one. But hey, that's another thing. That's a whole new discussion. But I love this, man. I am so stoked for a Snake Eyes. Now, kicking things off on day two, they showed us prototype images, really just digital images of a Static 6, uh, another pyramid head. Again, I'm not a giant uh, Silent Hill fan, I'm not a big horror fan, so maybe this is something for you guys. Again, it was more or less just a video turnaround of the sculpt of this like statue thing. I'm assuming that's what this is. It is called Static 6, so it's in a static pose. Uh, so again, these are just renderings of what this statue is gonna look like. So again, if this is your giant, if you're a giant Silent Hill fan, they did just uh, reveal or uh, put up pre-orders for a Silent Hill Pyramid Head last year in the 112 Collective. So it looks like they're gonna be doing a lot more with that license, which is really cool for a lot of you fans. Now their next reveal was the 112 Collective Robin. 
This is very exciting as people, uh, fans of the 112 Collective have been asking for a Robin action figure in the line for years now. And for the longest time, Mezco said they were never going to make one. Well, they finally did. I think they finally just caved into the fan demand. Uh, and last year we did just get a tease image of a Robin signal in the sky hinting that they were going to be making one. It looks like that figure is finally coming to fruition. Uh, the images look great here. Now I know a lot of people weren't a fan that it's gonna be a Damien figure. Uh, I personally love Damien Wayne. I think he's such a cool character. I love his gear. Uh, the fabric and the sockets that they're using for this figure look amazing. I'm really stoked to see all the accessories that he does come with. Uh, I get the fact that people would have wanted maybe a Dick Grayson to start with. I get that. But chances are I think we're going to get a Dick Grayson Nightwing. That's just me. Uh, let me know your thoughts. But I'm super stoked for this, man. And this is just one step closer to hopefully us getting other Robin figures. I would love a Tim Drake and a Jason Todd and eventually a Jason Todd Red Hood and things like that. So this piece looks awesome to me. I think it looks so good, so fun. And again, this is something we have been asking for for years now. For their next reveal, they showed us a Five Points Scooby-Doo set. Now, this thing looks really cool. And again, I already said I love the Five Points line. I think Mezco makes the best action figures in this style. Uh, and this just looks like a lot of fun. If you're a giant Scooby-Doo fan, I think this is amazing. You get the entire crew there. Uh, it looks like you get the uh, wagon, or was it the mystery machine, that was called, right? Correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, but you also do get like a haunted house-like playset with ghosts and things like that. That is so cool, man. You know, for me, my nephew uh, grew up loving Scooby-Doo, and I think he would love a set like this to play around with. I think it's super fun. They, the colors are just gorgeous. The detail is incredible. So if you like this style and love Scooby-Doo, I think this will make for a fun uh, collection in your collection. And for the final reveal of day two, they showed us a classic 112 Collective Spider-Man figure. Now this seems to be an updated release uh, to one of their earlier releases, which it seems like Mezco has been doing lately. They're taking some of their earlier figures from the line and updating them and upgrading them. So I'm really stoked that they're finally doing Spidey. I know that's something a lot of us wanted. So I'm really stoked about this particular action figures. Again, I feel like that's one that really needed an update, especially when it came to articulation. But they also showed a photo with Green Goblin in the background. Now the weird thing is, Mezco didn't even mention Green Goblin being there in that photo on their promos, on their social media. So I don't know if we were just supposed to ignore the fact that Green Goblin's totally there with his glider. And I love this, it's a more classic Green Goblin. Now I know there are fans that are split if they like uh, want a more classic look to their figures or they want the more Mezco-fied updated, updated like armored looks. Uh, that's always a split thing. I can go both ways, it really doesn't matter to me. But I love the fact that we're getting an updated Spidey, and holy crap, we're getting a Green Goblin. I want more Spidey villains in this line. I am super stoked for both of these, and I just cannot wait to hold them in my hands. Now, for the first reveal of Day 3, they showed us this single image of a 112 Collective Storm Shadow. Now, when I saw the reveal of Snake Eyes, I was completely satisfied with that being our only reveal for a new G.I. Joe figure. And again, like I said, J uh, Snake Eyes and Storm Shadow are my two favorite G.I. Joes. And holy crap, they're showing us a Storm Shadow as well. Again, this is the only image that they've shown so far, so you really only get to see the head and a little bit of the fabric for the upper torso. But man, I cannot be more stoked for this. I cannot believe they showed both figures and this one, just one, uh, one weekend. I'm so stoked for that. Again, I'm really excited to see the uh, accessories that we're getting. The soft goods I hope are amazing. You know, Mezco does really good ninja figures. So this really excites me. Again, more G.I. Joe. I love what they're doing, especially now that we have the classified line. Those are really great too. I want to have these lines combined together. Man, I'm just, I'm so happy about this. I'm really stoked for it. And again, hopefully we don't have to wait too long for this, but who knows? But I'm just, again, I'm glad that they're even making him. For the next reveal, they showed us a Five Points The Crow figure. Now, I think this thing looks really, really cool. And like I've said, I think Mezco does the best quality figures in this particular style. And man, this is proving me right. That looks incredible for that scale. 
and oh my god, I am loving the Crow. I love the fact that we're getting a 112 version, and I don't collect a lot of the five points, but I think this is one of those ones that I'm going to have to get. And it looks like it might have interchangeable arms and interchangeable heads to add things like the coat, unless we're getting different versions of the character, so that'd be really cool too. But either way, it's the Crow. I love him, and I love the fact that Mezco is making other versions of this character. And for the next reveal, they showed us a new Living Dead doll uh, being for the Creep Show. <laughs> Again, I have zero clue about anything for Creep Show. I'm not sure of this character's name. I don't know who they are, what they do. I have no clue about this crazy girl head cake that apparently is going on. Uh, but I can tell you that Living Dead dolls are super popular. They've been going on for many, many years. And they do look really cool. And this piece looks very well detailed. Uh, the sculpting looks amazing. The paint, it looks beautiful. So if again, if you're a horror fan and you love these Living Dead dolls, which I know a lot of people do, then you might want to pick up this figure. Now for the very final reveal of day three, they showed us a Mezco 112 Collective Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. That's freaking incredible. Now Mezco in the past has shown us little, little bits of teasers on things like boxes and promo art uh, that they might be doing turtles with little New York City lured, uh, sewer lid covers with like kind of turtle hands kind of peeking out a little bit. Uh, and a lot of us thought that that could be a hint at what's to come. And it looks like they actually are doing Ninja Turtles. And what also looks to be uh, comic book versions of the turtles, which is really cool. And I'm so happy about this. I love the turtles. Uh, I love pretty much it, any iteration of them. I always try to get all four turtles in any line. And the fact that they're coming to my favorite toy line, the 112 Collective, I could not be happier. I'm not sure if this is gonna be in a four pack or if they're gonna each be each sold separately. Uh, does this mean we can get other characters like Splinter, Casey, uh, April, Shredder, Foot Soldiers, Bebop and Rocksteady? I have no clue. I mean, the sky's the limit. I don't know, but this opens up a lot of things. And again, this is the comic book Turtles, which I'm super stoked about because I feel we don't get enough of those, at least enough good quality ones. I know NECA has made their own versions, which is great, but I want these too, man. Again, crossing TMNT with the 112 Collective is a dream thing for me, and I'm just so happy about these. The accessories I already know are going to be insane. I'm so stoked. This truly makes me happy. I'm just, I feel so, I don't know, I guess the word would be hashtag blessed to even have these in from Mezco, so... I don't know how you guys feel, but I love them, and I'm going to keep touting about them until they finally get released in hopefully not five years. So there it is, guys, my full recap of Mezco Toys Fair 2022. Now, there was a lot to review and a lot to unpack here. But man, these 112 Collective figures are really getting to me. From the Batman, to new G.I. Joe figures, to a classic Spider-Man and Green Goblin. I mean, there's just a ton of great stuff here. There's some really cool five points, which I personally do love. And for those of you that are into statues and living dead dolls and horror stuff, there's a lot for you guys too. So what were your favorite releases? Uh, or excuse me, reveals, I should say. Because let's be honest, the delays in releases have been kind of crazy with Mezco. As they've been with a lot of companies, let's be very honest here. Uh, but Mezco has shown us a lot of things in the past couple of years that we have still yet to actually get released. I, I mean, from last year's Mezco Toys Fair, there's still things that they showed that we still don't have in hand that I'm still stoked about. So again, hopefully this is not too long of a wait. I, I know that's a big issue for a lot of people, but I'm still very stoked to see that all of things are coming. There's a lot. Uh, they're thinking, obviously in the long run, which I'm happy with, and I'm a pretty patient person. I don't get too up in arms about uh, release dates and things like that and waiting too long. It doesn't really bother me all that much, but either way, I am super stoked to get a lot of these things in my collection, as I know a lot of you are. So again, feel free to drop a comment, let you know what you were excited about, what you were stoked to see, maybe what you hope to see, um, maybe things you just completely hated and you thought Mezco completely dropped the ball. Either way, I enjoyed Mezco Toys Fair this year. It was a lot of fun. So don't forget to be excellent to each other and stay nerdy, my friends. Peace.